This is on caging a brake. So I'm going to show you the reason that you would cage a brake is you would have a problem in the emergency system. So the emergency system is your emergency brakes. If you have a leak on your emergency side, you can cage the brake. Now caging the brake only releases the emergency brake on that tire. It does not take care of the air leak, which you would have to, have to fix separate. So first you would find the caging bolt that is on a brake can, and it might not be in this exact position, but this is how it looks. Disconnect the nut. You would pull the caging bolt out. You would pop this rubber cap off. You would take your caging bolt and you would stick it in here and find the slot that this, this fit in. Once it's in the slot, you turn it a quarter turn clockwise. It locks it into place. You would put your washer on. You would put your nut on. You can thread this on by hand right up until it hits the brake can. And now Todd is going to ratchet this all the way down. And he would ratchet it all the way down until it stops. Take your time. I know this is gonna be hard, but the shoe pulls away from the drum on the last little bit of that. You are collapsing an extremely big spring. If you had an air leak in the line, you could fold it over and pinch it to make sure the air stops leaking into that can. Make sure once again you have a problem with the emergency side on that particular can before you attempt to cage it. Also, I want to state that this bolt you're looking at right here, never touch that. The only one you're going to disconnect is the one that houses your bolt that goes in your caging system or the caging bolt. Never disconnect this. This is under pressure and it could be damage to you or the equipment.